I have some tips today on the best things to keep in mind when house hunting. Hi, my name is Deanna Bradford. I'm a realtor with Reese Nichols Realtors Excelsior Springs, part of the Bill Hightower team. Today, I thought we would talk about the house hunting process and give you some tips, some things to keep in mind when you're going through that process. When you're looking at homes, remember to be considerate of the seller or the owner of that property. They may still live in the property and you wanna be mindful and respectful of that. So for example, when setting appointments to look at the property, give plenty of notice so that the seller has time to be able to tidy up or get out of the house to allow you to be able to view that property. Before your appointment, again, be respectful of the owner and don't drop by the house, walk around the yard and peek in the windows. I've known people that actually will do that. So be considerate of the person who owns that property. And remember that if you decide that this is a home you wanna pursue purchasing, then being respectful and considerate of the seller when looking at the home will help you more when it comes time to negotiate the purchase of the home. Another thing to consider when house hunting, when you're looking at the home, consider whether it will work for your family. Does the footprint of the house work well for the use that your family will need when living in that home? And another thing to look at is whether or not that home will work well for your loan. Um, some loans are going to have certain requirements for the house, and you may not know what those are, but trust your realtor to have a good idea of what to look for. And they can help point out anything that might not work for your loan or be able to even see if the seller will negotiate correcting those items so that you could go forward in purchasing that home with that type of loan. Another thing to consider is to trust your gut. When I am showing homes, sometimes I'll have a buyer go into a home and they start talking about whose room is what and what they're gonna do in, in the certain areas of the home and they can already imagine themselves in the home. And hopefully the negotiation process, the offer process will work out in your favor and you will win the offer. But to decide before that, you have to decide if that home's even one for you to try to get. So when you're in that home, feel it out. Does it feel right? If you have any uncertainty, maybe that's not the home for you. Another thing to consider is don't take every detail about the home into consideration. For example, there are things that you'll be able to change when moving in. So paint color on a wall, um, the decor in the room, the layout of the furniture. These are things that you will have the ability to change once you own the property. So when looking at the home and trying to decide if it's the right home for you, those items are things that you should be able to look past or at least consider what you might do differently and then decide if that is something you're willing to do. Make sure when looking at homes that you're already pre-approved because if you do get that gut feeling that this is the one and you determine that it will work for your family and then you want to put that offer in, if you don't have your pre-approval in place ready to go, you could lose out on that home. Somebody else could come in who is pre-approved and get an offer accepted before you ever even have a chance. So make sure ahead of time you have that set up and ready to go. Another thing to consider is be careful about allowing friends and other family members to come in and cloud your decision making when it comes to whether this is the right home for you. Everybody has different opinions and sometimes a buyer can bring somebody with them that they trust, somebody that they know, that they love, to give them their opinion. And sometimes people will cloud the person's judgment. Maybe you feel like this is the right home, but then they have some doubts. Sometimes they can be good pieces of advice for you to think through, but other times it's all personal information or 
they are wrongly advising you because that's not their field of expertise. So be careful when asking for the opinions of friends and family. Make sure that when you choose the right house, it's your choice and that it's what's best for you and not based on the opinions of others. And as far as getting advice, as far as um, the loan and the things that might be wrong with the house, make sure you turn to the correct experts in those fields. Your, your uncle or brother may not understand the structural integrity of a house like a structural engineer would. So make sure that you leave the advice to the experts in the field to get the best information possible. And finally, when walking through the home, sometimes we can be blinded by how much we love the layout and the look of the home and the feel of the home, but we forget to look at the important aspects of a home, such as the furnace, the AC, the roof, things that are going to be expensive down the road if they're not running properly. And I understand that you might not be an expert at knowing whether those things run right or not just by looking at them. But take a peek and make sure that there's nothing questionable in the way that they look. Do they look newer or older? And if they look older, does it look like they've been well maintained? Sometimes you can see where they have a schedule of the last visit. Check out the seller's disclosure that the seller should provide so that you know ahead of time what the age of these different mechanics in the house are. Check out the roof. Maybe look at the basement closely. Are there any concerns of cracks or shifting in the floors? Pay attention to the floors throughout the house and any cracking in walls. And if you still love the home and you still think you want to move forward, be prepared to have those things checked out at a later point. It doesn't have to mean that those are deal breakers, but what if they are? Make sure you know ahead of time whether these things are acceptable to you when you look at them. If it's too scary, then maybe that's not the home to move forward on. However, you do have that inspection period once you're under contract. So if it's not enough to scare you away from the home, at least you know ahead of time that these are things you want to have further inspected and make sure that you're not going to incur some big expense once you've closed on the property. So protect yourself and trust your realtor to guide you through that process. So those are the things to consider when looking at a home. And I hope that these tips are helpful. If you like this video and the information that I provide, I hope that you'll follow me. Be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss other upcoming videos as we put them out weekly. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment below and I'd be happy to answer. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.